Well, the Royal Mail are launching a series of six stamps for every year of the centenary, obviously beginning in 2014. And this is really to mark the centenary of the First World War, which is a massive uh, event in, in terms of British history and also in terms of world history. Britain declared war on the 4th of August 1914. Um, the build-up to war uh, took place over a couple of months before then. Um, it was a period of incredible sort of diplomatic tensions through Europe, uh, the major powers jostling for, uh, for position in terms of the balance of power, uh, you know, a period of high drama and, and tension. Um, when war was declared, it was actually quite, uh, in Britain, was met with quite a lot of um, patriotic fervour. There was a, a sense of, of British citizens wanting to contribute to their country's war effort almost straight away. Uh, and actually thousands of men uh, volunteered uh, for the armed forces very quickly and, and often quite spontaneously. Well, yeah, the Royal Mail was quite typical of actually um, lots of major companies and organisations uh, in having uh, some kind of direct connection to the armed forces. They had uh, a battalion called the Post, Post Office Rifles, which was a battalion of the London Regiment, which is actually a, a territorial infantry regiment. And, and the recruitment of this unit was quite typical of what was happening in those early months of the First World War, where men would actually join up with their, with their friends, with their relatives, with their work colleagues. Uh, these are often known as PALS battalions. And a lot of these had a kind of commercial basis. So obviously in the case of the Post Office Rifles, it was employees of, of, of the Post Office at the time who joined up together and served together. So it was something where, where it kind of they had these units had quite a distinct identity, uh, but obviously it, it was you know potentially difficult when that unit suffered casualties because it had quite a, a big impact on that particular community back at home.